my name is Regan Miner and I'm the Executive Director of the Norwich Historical Society and welcome to this virtual look of the Norwich Freedom Trail. The Norwich Freedom Trail is a part of the Walk Norwich Trail system and highlights Norwich's rich African American heritage. The Freedom Trail highlights notable individuals who played a significant role in the movement to end slavery and advance civil rights before and after the Civil War. Among them is David Ruggles, who is a nationally known conductor on the Underground Railroad. We're standing in the David Ruggles Freedom Courtyard outside of City Hall in downtown Norwich, which is named after David Ruggles. David Ruggles is known to have helped over 600 individuals escape slavery. Among them are Frederick Douglass and James L. Smith, who was an escaped slave from Virginia and then settled here in Norwich, Connecticut. Later on, others like Sarah Harris and James L. Smith were residents of the historically African-American community of Jail Hill. Sarah Harris was known for breaking boundaries as the first young African-American woman to attend a prestigious academy for young, well-to-do, privileged white women. An escaped slave from Virginia, James L. Smith became a successful Norwich shoemaker. His journey to freedom embodied the struggle that many who escaped from slavery faced to make new lives here in the North in the years before the Civil War. So the Norwich Freedom Trail is concentrated primarily in the downtown Norwich National Register Historic District and the Jail Hill National Register Historic District. In addition, there are two other sites on the Freedom Trail. One is the Ellis Ruley Memorial Park located on Hammond Avenue here in Norwich. And the second site is the Boston Trout Trout Grave Site located in the old Norwich Town Colonial Burying Ground. Today's video will focus on Boston Trout Trout, Norwich's black governor. So we're standing here at the grave site of Boston Trout Trout, who is a black governor of Norwich. This site is listed on the Connecticut Freedom Trail and also on the Norwich Freedom Trail. So the grave site of Boston Trout Trout is one of the very few tangible resources remaining of the black governors of Connecticut. Evidence of the tradition of African Americans electing black governors or kings during the 18th century can be found in many New England colonies, including Connecticut. In Connecticut, the practice and adoption of African political tradition began in the 1750s when slaves accompanied their owners to Hartford for the annual gubernatorial election in order to choose a person to be their representative as well. Later, the slaves throughout the colony held their own elections and sent the results on to Hartford on the Saturday after Connecticut's election when the results were formally declared. Such elections were known to have occurred for about a century in the communities of Derby, Durham, Farmington, Hartford, New Haven, New London, Norwich, and Seymour. In celebration of the occasion, the owner of a slave voted in as black governor, paid for a dinner followed by a parade simulating the inauguration parade where the winner of the election would ride at the head of a marching procession. Often, black governors were slaves of prominent masters or respected members of the free African community in their own right. Despite their local status, black governors had little regulatory power and their task consisted of serving as mediators between white and black communities. Such governors held no administrative power. They could not, for example, punish a white individual accused of a crime against a black individual. Boston Trow Trow here served in office from about 1770 to 1772. He was one of three known black governors from Norwich. His grave inscription reads, in memory of Boston Trow Trow, governor of ye African tribe, he died May 28th, 1772, age 66 years old. It is likely that Trow Trow was a slave of Jabez Huntington, who was one of Norwich's most successful and prominent merchants. Other black governors from Norwich include former slave Ira Tossett and Sam Huntington, who is likely the property of Governor Samuel Huntington. So the Norwich Historical Society received a grant from the State Historic Preservation Office and the Sachem Fund to create signage for the remaining two Walk Norwich trails, the Freedom Trail and the Millionaire's Triangle. We wanted to put a plaque here next to Boston Trout Trout's grave to highlight the importance of the black governors of Connecticut. I invite everyone to come and check out the sign here located in the old Colonial Norristown Burying Ground and visit Boston Trout Trout's grave here at the rear of the Norristown Colonial Burying Ground. I want to thank Public Works for their support installing the sign and also thank the City of Norwich for their ongoing support of the Walk Norwich Trail system. 
Thank you so much for joining us for this virtual look of the Norwich Freedom Trail. If you're interested in learning more about the Freedom Trail, I invite you to come pick up a self-guided trail brochure outside of the Norwich Heritage and Regional Visitor Center located at 69 East Town Street in Norwich. As you can see, our outdoor information box is chock full of brochures, including the Walk Norwich brochures and the Walktober calendar. So please feel free to come any time of the day and pick up some brochures. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy walking Norwich. Thank you.